Hello YouTube, this is Chris from Beggars for Paranormal Services. Um, this is going to be a rant video. Uh, I, I'll get some paranormal videos up and some conspiracy videos and government cover-ups and all of them good videos later. Um, but this is a rant video and I've got several more that I want to do. Um, this one, particular to one, is on the dump. And what it is, is that when I moved in here, there was a doghouse full of trash. Human waste, or might as well be human waste. It was um, feminine products and stuff like that. Personal hygiene, um, dog waste, dog trash, human trash. Just completely full. Huge doghouse. It took me 45-gallon uh, con con contractor's bags, about nine of them. To haul it off, took me 20 bucks in gas, wasn't my stuff, but I got tired of looking at it, maintenance man and landlord never got rid of it, I know it's their responsibility, but, so anyway, I dump it off, I didn't take the doghouse with me, it was too big, and so I, uh, it was sitting in my, I broke it down and piled it in my backyard, I was going to get rid of it in a few days, well, we had a big windstorm, and my fence was all rotted out and falling down anyway, big windstorm blew it down, well, almost blew it down. And I got a hold of the landlord, he, maintenance man, took him months to get up here and repair it and everything, and it was just a big hassle. Anyway, he leaves all of his, all of the lumber here, all the old lumber, with the rusted, rusted nails and everything poking out of it. It was just a health hazard for me and my family and my dogs, um, had rusted nails sticking out of it and tore up wood and everything, so it was destroying my yard. Then I'm trying to get looking good again. So I pile it all in my truck, get tired of looking at it, pile it all in my half-ton cargo van, and uh, my, my work van. I had to take some of this stuff out, my some of my machines and, and stuff, and it's filled top to bottom, side to side, back to front, completely full, and it's still sitting there, and you'll know why you're here in a second. So I take 20 bucks in gas to get up there, well, 20 bucks here and to get there and back. I get up there, and the lady at the gate asked him what I got. I told her a uh, wooden fence from my house. She says, well, how uh, how heavy is your, your truck? I showed her, showed her the registration. She goes, well, that's a $60 dump fee because it's not covered. And by not covered, she meant... Not covered as residential waste, as a uh, property. Uh, what is it here? Um, the disposal site gate because the disposal fee has not been collected through the land site fee on property tax bill. This is what she had me pick up from another gate because she didn't have one apparently. Okay, if you couldn't pause the video and look at it better, you can go look at it on my Facebook page, Bakers for Paranormal Services, and I took a picture of this and put this up, you can blow it up and look at it and stuff, and all, all the fees and nonsense bullshit. So, I left and I came back. I wasn't paying it. So now my work van is completely full of this wood. I can't get to none of my stuff, and like I said, I had to take... Some of the stuff, some of my equipment, my couple of my machines, some of my tools and stuff, out to get it to fit. So now if I get called to a job, I can't go. I can't go make money. I can't work. can't support my family. And I may be making a big deal out of that, but that's stupid. Why am I being charged 60 bucks for a dump fee when the, the taxpayer's money... The county, city, and state are all paying for that to be run, for the people to do their job, for the machines to be operated and properly maintained, and for the site to be open. So why now do we have to pay dump fees? There's some of the fees on here to drop off stuff, $200, a ton. There's also another fee on here. For a scale site, 
was uh, seventy five dollars a ton for dead animals, thirty five dollars for a non scale site each dead animal. Okay. Seriously, go look it up on my Facebook page. I've already tried to make this video several times, and either I get the first time I was driving back for a dump, I was so irate and I was cussing every other word and just retarded. Last night, tried to redo it. My kids kept messing with me. I've tried to remake this video, and I've got other stuff I want to rant about, and I ended up putting them all in one video, and it was a 45 minute video. So I figured I'd break down the rants and uh, in a different video so they weren't so long. But anyway, I could take that waste, that lumber, not even waste, mulch, well, it's going to be turned into mulch, put it in my green trash can for free and have it hauled off. There's so much of it, it's going to take such a long time that I want to get it all out in one thing, not just, you know, a little here, a little there. But why is it I can do it for free through a green tra my green trash can and not be charged? But I got to be charged sixty dollars to go dump it off at the landfill at the dump. That's not cool. Not cool at all. And that's the problems. See, I'm about to do it again. I got I got a bunch of rants that I want to do, like I said, and so I got I'm going to try to keep them separate. But a lot of these rants tie in together. On this subject, on the, on these different subjects, um, yeah, it, it's it's ridiculous. That's one of the problems we're having. Why we're so uh, the economy is the way it is. You know, we're being charged for stuff that don't need to be charged or overcharged for stuff. So we can't, as the general public, afford to pay our bills or do things because we're spending money on stuff that's useless. Not useless, but Stuff we shouldn't have to spend money on. It's retarded. But anyway, um, that's my rant on that. I I don't know what else to say about it. It was it's ridiculous. But I'll get as soon as I can. I'll get some more paranormal videos up. I just don't like putting videos up that that aren't paranormal. I don't like faking paranormal. St I I don't ever fake paranormal stuff. So I'm not gonna fake stuff and put it on my channel just to get paranormal stuff up and get views, no, and uh, this is stuff I think people need to know, you know, putting this, you know, doing this kind of stuff, that's just nonsense, nonsense, it should not be done, um, I'm not saying not pay people for the work, but our taxpayers already pay for that stuff, they pay for the maintaining of the property, the work, the workers, and everything, so why am I having to pay $60, especially for stuff that isn't even mine? You know, I'm already half. I already spent forty dollars in gas on hauling off stuff. You know, why do I got to pay another sixty dollars to be able to dump off the last load? That's just ridiculous to me. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Rate, comment, subscribe, and um, let me know if you want to if you agree with me on this and if you want to see more of my rant videos. Thanks, YouTube. See you on the next video.